Right. Setting the company's core values is one of the most important identity initiatives a CEO and the leadership team can lead when launching or running a company. In our one-on-one -on -one strategy work with CEOs or CXOs, our first order of business is to always revisit the core values, their mission and their vision. These three identity elements define what a company believes, stands for and values more than profits, where the company is going and why the company exists. Without clarity around these three elements, the company will struggle. It will remain in a consistent reactive state and its employees will lack clarity on its purpose and direction. Setting them, however, is only half of the equation. Where so many companies fail in this initiative are in the rollout, in the implementation and in the consistent reinforcement of the values every day. Once we set or reset the values, mission and vision, we create a plan to roll them out through an interactive custom training session and we identify how to integrate them into the company's operations. In this video, we will suggest some specific ways CEOs and their leadership teams can integrate their core values into the everyday fabric of their businesses. So let's begin. First, live and lead by example. Leaders are always being watched, setting core values and then failing to abide them is worse than not establishing core values at all. A solid core value system is especially important in difficult times. It's rather easy to adhere to established desired behaviors when things are going well. However, when a company hits a bump in the road, it is when it's important to stand by what you believe at your core. Second, teach the values through orientation and training. It is unrealistic to simply send out an email or a document listing core values or engrave them on coasters and then think that everyone will adapt them. Formal training communicates that values matter. The training conveys the company's commitment and also dedicates the time in needed to explain how the values originated and what their significance is to the company. Third, reinforce the values in all communications, including all hands meetings, newsletters, etc. etc. For many of our client organizations, we have revamped the all hands meetings formats and we have launched internal newsletters. Every employee touch point should reinforce the values. Fourth, recognize and reward value centric behaviors. There are many ways to recognize and reward values centric behaviors including bonuses, voting opportunities that give employees the opportunity to nominate co-workers for successfully living the values and written recognition in newsletters or on the website etc etc. Fifth, incorporate the values into your sales process. As we have worked with clients to revamp their proposal processes and documentation, we have integrated the core values into the proposal messaging. This goes beyond simply listing the values in an opening paragraph. The language highlights how the core values shape the customer experience. Sixth, incorporate the values into your hiring process, selecting Candidates that culturally align with your organization is just as important as finding candidates that match your required experience level and skill sets. In addition to rewriting the position descriptions, 
that are used to attract candidates. Our role in interviewing and vetting the candidate for our organization and our client's organization focuses solely on the cultural fit. We run candidates through a rigorous questioning process to identify who can truly move their companies to the next level and will likely be around for the long term. 7. Incorporate the values into your performance review process. Once you have hired employees that align with your core values and you have trained them on how they can live the values, you are ready to integrate the core values into the performance review process. The performance review process is where you inspect what you expect. Eighth and finally, this is very difficult. Terminate the people who violate the core values. Firing employees is always one of the worst aspects of business ownership. However, when an employee consistently engages in behavior or behaviors that contradict the desired and required behaviors of an organization, this impacts their personal performance as well as the performance of the company. Every employee represents the brand. Every employee is therefore accountable to the values, missions and vision of the organization as they represent the company, including the CXOs. 9. Ensure the alignment between internal and external messaging. Finally, companies must ensure alignment between internal and external messaging. How are employees communicating the brand and company attributes? Does the company messaging in marketing materials, on the website, on social channels, in LinkedIn profiles, etc. accurately reflect the internal messages around the values? Finally, values lose their credibility when leadership just talks the talk but doesn't walk the walk and when they lose the sight of what values mean to both employee and the customer experience. Leaders can avoid this outcome by remaining committed and intentional to building a values-centric culture and ensuring the values are implemented on the ground.